Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter and today I wanna to talk about a little tool here that's pretty affordable and has really been awesome when using cameras with multiple configurations. Uh, it solved so many problems for me and I think it's a great solution for a lot of us out there. Now this is the Quick Dovetail from Small Rig. It's about $55, so it's pretty affordable. So I have one for each of my cameras and uh, it solves a lot of issues that we have. Um, we don't shoot with cinema lenses, at least most of us can't afford to shoot on cinema lenses all the time. And the beauty of cinema lenses is they're all the same size, roughly the same weight. So what's great about that is when you rig up your camera, you can rely on that. You know that you're not gonna be altering a lot of the weight on the front of your rig, or at least on the front side of your sensor. So here I have a massive lens and if I took this lens off and put a tiny 50 millimeter on this camera, obviously there would be much less weight on the front of the camera, which would mean that the camera would want to lean back, okay? So the beauty of this plate is it runs really long. It's nine inches long, and this allows you to perfectly balance your camera system, not just the camera, but the lens, the cage if you have one, um, and a bunch of other accessories. So. Let me move this a little bit so we can see it better. So you can see here I've got the plate and if I loosen up my tripod, we're, we're pretty balanced, which is awesome. And I've got this massive lens. So the second I take the lens off, and I should probably put a cap on here, but I'm not going to, we have that problem. The camera starts to fall backward. Uh, this gets even more complicated when you add a bunch of other accessories. For instance, if I have this massive map box, if I throw that on there, it's gonna to wanna to lean forward. The solution is I loosen up the plate and move the whole rig backward. And uh, this can't really be done with the small Manfrotto style quick release plates that you can get uh, with your tripod because they're not long enough. They only give you maybe an inch and a half on either side of center. So this is a great tool. I've used it with lots of different configurations and pretty much everything, it's perfect. It's really easy to use. Another situation might be having a big battery pack on the back. Um, and all the weight wants to move, you know, the whole rig wants to slide backward, you just move everything forward a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of the range on this guy. So I'm gonna loosen up my plate and slide this whole thing back. So there you can see the entire plate, pretty large. Um, this is a pretty sizable lens. So it almost reaches the entire setup. And you can customize this. I can move this plate a lot farther forward if I need it to. So you can slide it on here. So right here is kind of the first setup. If you had a lot of weight on the front, maybe you had a really massive zoom, this would work really well. Um, otherwise you slide it forward, locks in place, and then I could move it farther forward if I needed to. Now there's a bunch of other uses that we could go on to talk about. I just wanna talk about one more, and that is using a setup like this. Let me take this back off. So a lot of people out there use battery grips. Uh, this setup is the giant, massive, obnoxiously huge interface unit for the GH4. And obviously it raises the entire camera. And if you're like me, it makes me crazy when you set your camera down and it flops forward or it's got a rest like this on a table. So this plate fixes that as well. You just set the whole thing down on the table. It rests nice and flat. Nothing's banging on a table or leaning funkily and putting a lot of pressure on the, uh, the lens mount. So uh, that's the last use I'll talk about. There's really endless ones out there. Okay. So um, there's a bunch of other features to this aside from it being a massive Manfrotto style quick release plate. So it does work with pretty much any Manfrotto style uh, QR plate system. I've used it here, right here on the Benbro. I've used it on a Manfrotto plate. Um, works really well. Works on my uh, monopods, so all that's really good. The other thing is it takes quarter 20 and 3 8 and you can stack them up within the uh, slide in the center. This allows you to add two screws to your cage and make sure it's really rock solid and you're not gonna have any twisting. And if you have a normal cinema camera or a camera that actually is built for video, like a C100 or something, uh, you can take advantage of both those pins on the bottom of the camera. A couple other features that's great about this plate is on the very front, there's a whole line of quarter 20 tap threads. So you could take advantage of those. There's also um, little sections where you can add a hollow 
uh, bolt and in the center you have tapped quarter 20s. So you could use this for a lens support system if you didn't have a uh, 15 millimeter rod set up. So um, just a great tool. Those are just some of the uses that I found and uh, for $55 it's really a solid uh, piece of gear that you can add to each of your camera systems to ensure that you'll always be balanced and when you swap lenses and remove certain things from your camera package you can easily slide that forward and back and keep your balance right on. So let me know if that helps, if you have any questions, and stay tuned for more content from DSLRVideoShooter.com. I will see you guys over at the website.